Hey, it's Tim, pickup truck plus SUV talk, and today I'm in a 2024 Mercedes-Benz GLE 450E. E means excitement. <laughs> uh, this is a plug-in hybrid system, which we'll talk more about that in this video. So uh, yeah, <laughs> this has been kind of a fun week. So in this video, I'm gonna go ahead and pull over a little while. We'll do an exterior walk around, interior walk around. I'll tell you more about the powertrain. I downloaded all the notes, six pages of notes, because I'll be honest with you, I don't always keep up with everything going on in Mercedes-Benz world, and so I had to take a bunch of notes, and so I have some details for you there as well. But, yeah. <laughs> right, let's go ahead and show you the exterior photo, image, video, and interior video, and then I'll come back to you. What about these driving impressions, and uh, kind of how much fun I've been having all week. Okay, let's go ahead and talk about the exterior here of this 2024 Mercedes-Benz GLE. I've gone over the notes a few times, so they, they're saying the changes here. The front bumper here is changed, okay? And then here with the grill, they have the big, their big Mercedes-Benz logo, which they actually double up on this logo. It's kind of interesting. And then they have the chrome going up through the grill radiator, chrome accents. Then the chrome accents in the bottom as well, those air louvers in the bottom. They have the same signature lighting. It's called so-called light flare in the headlights. And so this is the LED lighting here. We have a multi-beam LED there. We have Mercedes-Benz spelled out here as well. And they say the standard LED high-performance headlights, two light points complement the distinctive daytime running lights design. And there's an optional multi-beam LED headlights that are four light points. Those are optional. Uh, there's also a revision of the interior of the tail lights. We'll get to that in a minute. But there's a couple different changes here. There's uh, two new colors. Twilight Blue Metallic and Manufacturer Alpine Gray. And again, I have no cell sticker. I think this is black. <laughs> That's what it looks like to me. And uh, there's a general size, uh, excuse me. And then there's three new alloy wheels in 19 and 20 inches as well. And then you can get better with the AMG, which is with the AMG 580. You can get that AMG lineup there. So that is your 20 inch wheel. Those are uh, 275 50R20s. And they are Michelin. And yeah, Mercedes Benz up there. So kind of side profile here. I'll kind of do this deal. Well, the other part of me looks at traffic. And I'll come around the side here. And then this here is your charging point port. Pops open. You have two choices. This is for the plug at home. You have 110 or 220 hook up in that. And this one here is your DC fast charging. That's at the public charging stations. This one is much faster speed charging. 220 is faster than 110, and 110 is the slowest. And then we have controls here. You, the plug will actually lock, and you have to press the unlock button to get that open. Come around the back, we have the GLE 450, and then this was the tail lamps, it, tail lights they said. Okay, so they revised the interior of the tail lights on the GLE. The light signal is formed by two horizontal block lines. So there, there it is, the horizontal block lines, and then that is how it looks in the back. We do have a Receiver hitch, which is great for not only just towing stuff, but also bikes and cargo, additional cargo for traveling. Formatic there, with Mercedes-Benz there as well. And then I'll open this up. And you can see all my golf stuff. <laughs> I've had a busy week playing golf. But I thought it was interesting to be able to show the, the room in here. So this is my golf bag. This is my cover for my golf cart. You can see that stuff and my shoes. And then we have some controls here for the seats. They will move. So that's, they all move, then that seat pulls up, that seat goes down. And so you can really expand how much storage you have back here. This actually covers the entire cargo area, just a cargo cover. And then we'll see if I do this right. I don't know. <laughs> up, up. Uh, yeah, well, that'll work. Um, up. Oh, there it goes. See? I just gotta stop talking and let it do its thing. So it's up and down, and then that goes right into place. Okay, and then you have some controls here as well. Open and close. And there too. Just looking at this, I thought this might come out, this glass might come off, like pop open. I don't see a way to do that. So if you guys know in the comments, put a comment down below. Um, it seems like that might pop open. All right, so come around the sides. This is your gas. Oh, there's control inside the door, but that's that's for your gas. So battery one side, gas the other side. And then what I'm gonna do is before we do the interior, I'm gonna flip the car around and put the sun behind me so I can shut off the interior. Okay, I decided that the street was way too busy, so I head back to the house, and I can also show you some of the cameras in the back of the house. So this is interesting. This is the stalk. This is your shifter. You push to go and park. 
you pull down to go and drive, you go up to go to reverse, and then really nice cameras back there too. Backup cameras, surround view camera, change some of the views here, depending on what you want to look at. All sorts of different. Yeah, pretty interesting views. Auto view, back view, front view. This auto view is interesting. So if I go back, what's it do? Oh, it shows me the same kind of view. If I go here, yeah, like pretty interesting stuff. And it's got the park assist too. I did a video on this. Actually, as you're driving, it'll look for spots and then it actually pulls in. It's on our TikTok channel on, the, I think it's on YouTube channel as well. I'm a little short on that, on the parking on that too. So it'll park for you. It's really kind of interesting way of parking. It backed me into a spot. Like it was, it was, uh, it was fun. All right, I'm gonna go put them in drive. The engine's not running. We're using just battery power and uh, that's what I did there. There's also, by the way, a car wash mode. I did a video on that on TikTok too, when you set up so you can turn off all the sensors and things as you're moving. Uh, the mirrors will move up and down if I go in reverse. See the mirrors kind of come down. If I go up to drive, they're fine too. So we'll go drive and we'll go forward. So as we move forward into this, You'll see the sun go. Yeah, now we can see the real brilliance of these these um, controls and lighting in here. And you can see what's going on in front of us. Let's go ahead and turn those sensors on. The headlights are popped on. Um, yeah, so we'll just kind of move forward. Auto high beams are on. And there's my messy garage. Sorry, but I use my garage. <laughs> it's not uh, crystal clean like everybody else's. And so I'm going to go in. And it'll beep at me. Tells me I'm too close. There's your parking sensors, and then you put it in to park. Okay, so let's talk about this. This is a new MBUX. It's a new user experience on this screen, and it's it's touch screen. You can go touch screen. There's also a touchpad down here. You can move back and forth. And there's a home button, and then there's a bunch of controls down here, like uh, different drive modes, the camera, the parking, the vehicle settings. You have kind of a favorites button. There's also the move the mic so I don't choke myself. Volume for the radio, nav map, rate, and radio media. So you can change that around. Okay, this is probably one gripe with this is that there's kind of an interesting slot here for your phone. You can put your phone like this, or you can put it down in a charger like this, and it's got a wireless charger. But do you have a, a kind of a big overhang here, even though it's kind of lit, it's kind of nice, got ambient lighting there, but you're kind of, you're doing this to this to this. It's, your hand goes in and then Changing colors. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Um, and it goes down, and then you have a cup holders. But if you put cup holders down here, your phone is kind of gone. And you cover that up, but I just haven't made sense of how to use that this week. I just, I keep hitting this. I just want, I, I understand for sports cards and stuff, a hold on, be great, you know, situation, but I just, I keep hitting it. And I don't, it's just, it's not very intuitive for me. When I put coffee cups in there and things like that, it's just, it's always a, Bit of a game so that's my only really complaint i do like the copy i've been putting the key down there too actually that works out pretty well and then uh, speaking of the key here is your key you have a standard key fob you have park you have unlock you have the 911 kind of a emergency alert and open the tailgate which by the way you can open a tailgate over here in the door too we'll talk about that with this kind of cool ambient lighting going on um you have the seating controls here you have heated seats cooled seats and you have just a heated seat bottom we have the um i can't even make it out uh we have speakers they are uh burmeister and we have the window controls here they're all nice and chrome the door lock the locks back in here and then we have the fuel door and you can open and close the tailgate from here. And this cubby hole actually works pretty good. And then we have Mercedes-Benz on, on the sill. And there is our parking brake lights and switches for the controls here. And then we have those controls on the dash. You have the stock for the winch wipers, the rear winch wiper as well. And then, yes, it's telling me the vehicle's on. And if I, I'll unlock it in a minute if I don't do anything. So I'm gonna press okay on this. So this screen here was interesting because I went through, I went home and then I could kind of scroll through different uh, screens I wanted. Yeah, this is haptic touch. So I can kind of go whatever screen I want. So if I want nav navigation, classic, sport, understated, so we'll just turn on sport. 
they picked this up in about an hour or so so they'll think i'm driving sport mode all day <laughs> uh g-force indicator <laughs> engine data yeah that's uh it's pretty futuristic um we have a bunch of vents here which is i've been playing with those too it's like a whole array of vents and uh it's really interesting you can get any sort of spot you want cooled off hvac controls there we, like i said the charger there and then this is the storage room here i have the, a big box i thought it'd be interesting to show my go, big gopro box actually fits in and i have some usbs there too and there's our again our ambient lighting is changing same controls there we have the controls up here for lighting for the um sos button which we're not going to push <laughs> uh we have mercedes call the, like a help button that opens up the panel moonroof and then they have a new feature called hey mercedes and it should talk to you hey mercedes it might be I'm talking so much, but it's got a voice to talk. I've used it a few times. Okay. It never works when you're on a camera. Uh, this engine, though, displacement, uh, let's say I want to talk about horsepower, 248 output. Torque is 295 foot-pounds of torque. Electric motor is 134 horsepower electric motor. It's continuously engaged. So the, the engine and the battery powertrain, EV powertrain, are always engaged together. Um, you just, depending on your throttle, you'll kick on the engine or not as you're driving around town. So if you really get on it, you'll get the engine and the battery. If you're not, you just get the battery only. Um, there is a top speed of 130 miles per hour and zero to 60 time in 5.8 seconds. Your combined output, 479 and 381 for the GLE 450 automatic. And I believe that's all details there. So let's check out the second row of seats. Okay. Okay, these second row seats, seating area, my kids have been back here. They've had no complaints. Uh, you can see that seats move a little forward and you can control that by the door, by those there. And then we have USBs there, HVAC controls there. And then this should pop down, a little drink holder. And you have the tie downs for kid anchor seats. What's going on there? Let's, uh, let's see those headlights one more time. Let's see if they're on. Yeah, there's kind of your headlights on. And yeah, that is the Mercedes-Benz GLE 450E interior exterior, and it does fit in my garage as long as I move this, get it nice and tight. So it should fit in lots of people's garages as well. This is a standard size garage. Let's head back to the driving impressions. Okay, there you go. There's the exterior video and the interior video showing off this new Mercedes-Benz GLE 450E. Uh, it is quite the drive. Um, it, it is really quiet in the cabin. Um, you don't have a whole lot of road noise. It's really smooth, on center, handles really well. Um, I don't have a lot of body roll. I guess I, I don't feel like it's very much, but I mean, this isn't a sports car. It's not gonna be that way. Um, comfortable seats, very comfortable seats, comfortable driving position. Um, I, when I get in it, I did make the change in the settings for the entry exit. If you don't know what that is, you can make a setting, change in the settings. It'll move the steering wheel up and the seat back for you so you can get in and out easier than you would if you're in a driving position. And then you, when you press the start button, it moves the seat in and moves the steering wheel down so that way you have your driving position back the way it was. And that's really handy because I, I find the entry exit on this a little bit tight. And so it's nice to have a little bit big, bigger opening to be able to get my butt in the seat and get my driving position without having to move the seat back, all that kind of stuff you have going on in the past. Um, but yeah, this, uh, and it's so, it's so crazy. It's like, uh, I have, uh, what I have, I have 35 miles of range, fully um, charged, which I've done a couple times. I get 60 miles of range. I just got a new Electron 220 volt charger, which I'll put a link to the video above. And in that video, I talked about how to charge it, why you want to do 110 versus 220, and why you need the level two charging at home and how fast it is to get that charging. And newsflash, I get like a mile a minute with 220 plugging it in versus the 110 takes like, a mile every 10 minutes or 20 minutes. I mean, it's, it's a huge difference. And the cables are really different. You gotta check the video out, it's really interesting. Um, beyond that, uh, the, I've been, the cruise control, uh, the lane departure, everything everything works. I mean, there's nothing that I have any worries about as far as from a driving experience. I think everything um, works really well in the cabin. Visibility's great. And yeah, I, I have nothing really kind of negative to say about this vehicle, I mean, uh, as far as driving impressions, you saw a few details interior. You talked about entry exit I didn't care for, um, but overall, I think they've done a really good job with this. And I'm really curious to see, you know, I think in this segment, the luxury segment, um, I'd like to know the price. That's what I don't know. The pricing hasn't been revealed yet. There's no Monroni, no sales sticker. And on Mercedes-Benz USA, at the time of this filming, 
there is no price there. Uh, my guess is this is an $80,000 vehicle. That's kind of where Car and Driver had like a 78,000, I think 78 to 80,000. So it looks like from what my research, you're gonna pay about $10,000 more to have the plug-in hybrid version. But again, if you're in a situation like I am where I'm just driving the golf course basically and back, um, yeah, you don't need all that electric range. And the first plug-in hybrids came out with like 10, 20 miles of range, and they were terrible. 60. Now 60's got me more doable. That now that's a much better range. That's actually a usable range. So yeah, I think uh, I think if you bought this, you might be happy and you might get the E going. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's 65. All right. Uh, and now we have an undisclosed speed. So we're gonna slow down because the uh, number one rule is when you review when you review vehicles, no speeding tickets. Um, because that's a loss. <laughs> I don't want to pay a speeding ticket at all. But yeah, this thing is fantastic. I think you'd be really happy with it if you buy it. Um, again, those little nuances, details, just keep those in consideration. And I'll be curious to see what happens in this plug-in hybrid. And they do make a plug-in hybrid diesel version as well that's sold overseas. And you know, maybe people buy these, maybe they'll bring diesel over because I'm really curious about that one as well. All right, for more curiosity stuff you have and more videos you want to watch, check videos over here. Website down below, pickuptrucktalk.com. As always, thanks for watching. I will see you down the road.